Today, we are going to replace the included momentary contact switch of the ECP series in Europe with a rocker switch like this one here so that this will stay on for more than 10 minutes. Now, I'm not recommending that you do this. Take this for entertainment purposes only. That being said, let's flip the switch here one time. Let me start my timer. And I'm gonna come back in a little bit. All right, so you can see that we've been running here for quite a while, uh, almost 40 minutes. And the advantage to that is that, oof, it's hot. Everything is nice and hot. And that is the way that you're gonna get real nice extraction. Let's just let, uh, let's purge some of that water out of there that's been sitting, heated up. Now I'm going to make myself a shot and we will talk about um, how to install the switch. Got this uh, fancy new WDT tool right here. It's really cool because it's uh, held on by a magnet. Also the top olive wood piece is held on to the 3D printed piece with the magnet. So that's really neat. Shoop. So let's just take a look and see what our extraction looks like. Pretty nice looking extraction right there. So now I'm gonna show you a couple of things that are kind of strange with putting in this switch. And it does have a little bit to do with engineering. Mm, that's nice. All right, so this switch here, if I turn it off now, then the machine will turn off. You'll see here, the light's gonna go off. All right, machine is off. It was on for 42 minutes, and now it just turned off with this switch install. However, if I turn it on, and then I wanna turn it off within that first initial 10 minutes that's running a timer, actually it doesn't turn off. So what you have to do is send it another impulse on and off, and then it will turn off. Okay, so the funny thing about the way that this works is this switch here on the side is not actually an on and off switch, but rather it sends a signal to the board inside here. So the board's also got a timer on it. And in originally with this, moment, with this instantaneous switch, you're just sending a signal for an instant, right? You're gonna turn on the machine. Then it runs a timer for 10 minutes. And then because there will be no voltage here on the switch, it turns off. Now what we can do with this switch is since there's gonna always be voltage on it in the on position, well, what it does then is it bypasses the timer after that 10 minutes. The funny thing is, is after that first 10 minute timer has elapsed, then if you want to turn off the machine, you can. It, all you need is a negative edge here at the power switch. So you're just gonna go from a one down to a zero and that's gonna give the signal to this to turn off. But if you're within that first 10 minute timer period, you need to give it a full impulse. So you need to go up and down like that with this switch, which is why you have to turn it off, then on, then off. That is the one thing to keep in mind. But let's just go ahead and install this sucker on my other machine. All right, so here is the other machine. And of course you can see that it is not plugged in. And all you really have to do is just kind of try to wiggle that switch out pry it out of there. All right, if it doesn't want to pry out, you'll just have to take the bottom off. That is easy too. All we have to do is remove, I think five or six screws here on the bottom to get at the switch. They are the security type, but if you just use a normal flathead, you can get them out. A little safety clip. So this is the old switch right there and we're going to replace it with this switch here. So this just gives an instantaneous impulse and this one will hold 
the voltage. Here's the continuity test. And on this switch here, this rocker switch, you just have continuity or you don't have continuity. All right, let's put it in there like that. Put the bottom back on. Alrighty, and there you go. Now the machine will stay on until you turn it off. All right, a couple things to keep in mind here. As I mentioned, make sure to turn it off yourself. Don't just let it uh, sit heating all day. That could be a safety concern. And these switches, I did measure out with my calipers to make sure they're the right size. And I also made sure that they have enough amperage um, for the circuit. And again, as I mentioned before, take this as entertainment value only. I'm not recommending that you do this. But of course, the advantage is obvious. So, with that being said, hope you liked this video. If so, check out my other ones. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.